Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is Bradford City versus Sutton United vlog now if you do go on to enjoy today's video please make sure you drop a like on it if you could try and hit 100 likes on today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers, trying to reach 6k by May. So if you could subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Get your post notification bell as well, so you never miss a video of what I upload onto this channel. Make sure as well to drop a comment in the comment section down below. What were your thoughts on this match? And also don't forget to share the video around with your family and friends. Now, in terms of a score prediction, as I said in my match preview yesterday, I'm going to go with 2-1 to Sutton. This morning, I felt a bit more confident once again. I'm going into games actually feeling confident. Confident. And I think that's not a great thing because it is the hope that kills you in football. I'm going to go with 2-1 to Sutton Day today. I know both teams have got their injuries, but I just with the way we're playing at the moment, I just can't see us scoring more than one. And I also can't see us conceding less than two. Team news at the time of recording will come out in about 15 minutes or so. So we'll have to wait and see on that front. It wouldn't surprise me if there was a few changes after Tuesday night. I don't know whether Lavrio will be fit to start or not because Robinson didn't really do the business on Wednesday night for me personally. But make sure you drop a like on today's video. Subscribe if you are new as well and I shall see you all at Valley Parade. I thought Soane would have brought more than that to be honest, but fair play as always to those who have travelled. It's not the fullest inside Valley Parade today, but who can blame them after the recent performances? Come on City. <laughs> Come on, Robinson with a great header. 
don't need more of. Like Songo and Pordy. Stop celebrating, go get the ball and get another. Come on. Referee, hello. Hello. Well, corner was definitely wasn't corner. I can see two pieces of metal. You see that it's apparently gone out. Interesting. Ball goes in. Oh my goodness, played off the line. Well, oh, it's not good. Get over! Get over, get over! Shut up. Go on, Theo. Oh, it's a great ball. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, it is. Oh, 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 the very end to a game. Since we know we're playing five at the back. We've actually gone forward a little bit, another corner for us. Oh, well in, well in right now. Fantastic tackle. Sutton County's command corner is a great tackle from right out. Go on, Sutton, go on. He's done well, he's done well. Go on, Gilead, go on, Gilead. Referee! How do you not see that? Oh my god, Grail Kelm is shocking. He's passed it straight to the keeper. Shocking. Half time, one one. I think considering we've got a red card, it's not the Oh, bloody hell, what are we doing? Look at what? 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 Look at Well then, I don't really know how to feel after watching that game. Granted, we had a red card and we've fallen behind twice. And, you know, we've done well in that sense to come back and salvage a point from today's game. But at the same time, it's more individual errors that have cost us the win. It's not a great performance, but again, you've got to factor in the fact that we have we have 10 men. We've not made a substitution until the 85th minute and then Cooks had touched the ball maybe once because he's not had a chance to actually get into the game. It's just really frustrating and I would have been content and probably, I wouldn't say happy, but I would have been content with today's draw if we'd have done well in our previous 10-15 matches. But I think we're without a win now in 10 matches. We've won 2 in 23. That is simply not good enough. We're 14th in Skybet League 2. This is absolutely not, not good enough. And 
it doesn't come down to just today because today I think we probably we've, we've got to take the point. It's the previous matches where we're creating all these chances, and we just don't take them. We've taken some decent chances today. I don't think we really created all too much. Um, from what it looks like, I think Angle for the second goal is actually offside, so fair play to the linesman for not giving that because I thought the officials absolutely terrible today. And I've also seen some people who sit in the cop and they're like the corner in the main stand saying that the little incident where they were appealing pound ball, I think from the, was it a corner? I think uh, that it actually went over the line, but again, that didn't really get given, so thank God there was no VAR today. The red card, let's talk about Niall Canavan. I have no idea what he's doing. He's faffing around on the ball. Their player managed to take the ball off him. Canavan has quite a while actually to just take him down outside the area. He then waits, I don't think he's obviously not done it on purpose, waiting until he's inside the penalty area, but he's inside the penalty area, then decides to bring him down for club captain. You, and a man of that experience, you just simply cannot be doing that. He's disgraceful from Niall Canavan, to be honest. Uh, their second goal, obviously, you know, for the first goal, they go and score the penalty. It's a decent penalty, to be fair. And then their second goal, I just... The Threl Keld, I mean, I don't think I've seen anyone praise him. As you guys know, I've said it quite a lot before. In pre-season, he looked absolutely fantastic. Since he got his injury against Exeter, I feel like a broken record saying this, but he's just been absolutely woeful. The second goal, he gets beaten far too easily, just backing off and backing off. I get he's on a yellow card and he's got to be cautious, but you've got to put some sort of a challenge in. You've got to show some sort of presence to him actually being there. He doesn't, the shot comes in, Hornby fumbles that in. Don't get me wrong, I've been a big critic of O'Donnell this season, and I think a lot of other people who have been critics of O'Donnell won't criticise Hornby for that. He's simply got to do better, which it's not a good sign where you don't where both your goalkeepers are making mistakes. I get that it's League Two, and it, you know we're not expecting like prime Manuel Neuer, but it's a shot that straight at him. He flaps at it, and you know he gives a free header for their striker about three yards out, and he's always going to score from that. So disappointing, but we take the point. We move on. Carlisle way on Saturday. I will be there for that. But if you have enjoyed watching today's video, please make sure you drop a like, and it was four goals for you guys to enjoy. So fingers crossed from that point of view. If there's any neutrals watching, you have enjoyed it from that point of view. Make sure you drop a like though. Hundred likes. Like, as I said at the start of today's video, would be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers. Trying to reach 6k by May. So if you could subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Get your post notification bell on as well so you never miss a video of when I upload. Drop a comment in down in the comment section down below. What was your thoughts on today's match? Are you happy with the point? Thoughts on the red card? Any Sutton fans as well? Are you a little bit frustrated? You know, what, the, what are your takes? on today's game. Share the video around with your family and friends. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I shall see you on the next video. Peace.